Quick minute to talk about the relationship between the degrees of vertices and edges in a graph. So here I have a very, very simple graph, two towns and a road in between them. Uh, now this has a degree of one. It has one edge going into that vertex. So I'm just going to write degree one there. This one has degree one here. So all together in this graph, we have degree one plus degree one. We have two total degrees when we add the vertices together. How many edges do we have? We have one road. Okay, let's just add a little bit of complexity to this thing. We'll add in another vertex. We'll add in a road over here, and we'll add in a loop there. Okay, now let's consider the degrees. This one has degree 2 now. This one has degree 1 still. I shouldn't have rubbed that out. And this one has degree 1, 2, 3. All together I have 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6, 6 total, and edges 1, 2, 3. Alright, let's add uh, some complexity to this. And uh, a line, and a line, and another line there. So I've got a loop and I've got multiple edges. Uh, let's figure out the degree of all of our... So this one has degree 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. This one has degree 1, 2, 3. This one has degree 1, 2. And this one has degree 1, 2, 3. And all together that's 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 12. Okay, and how many edges do I have? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, hopefully you can see a pattern starting to emerge and this pattern is always going to work because an edge moves from vertice to vertice, so every edge always has two vertices attached to it. And we get this. So, the relationship I hope you're seeing is 1, 2, 3, 6, 6, 12. The total degrees in a graph is always double the total number of edges in a graph. The sum of the degrees of the vertices in a graph, so the sum add up the degrees of the vertices in a graph, is double the number of 